we um, kind of ended short last year, we thought, and so we thought uh, this spring we just got back to doing uh, the basic stuff, uh, working on team chemistry, uh, trying to play as much as we could together. Um, now things are winding down, we're trying to shape things up, get ready for the playoffs, and uh, hopefully make a deep run. This team, what really stands out to them is they remind me a lot of the team I played on in high school, and we won state in high school, but what they really understand is their roles on the court. So everybody knows their role, they want to win, they like to win, and nobody's worried about scoring or their own personal issues. It's all about the team, all about winning and making each other happy. So that, they really have a good chemistry with that. A uh, key player, everybody's been huge this year, but uh, I think you have to start with uh, A-Dub, Audrey. She's, uh, she's our catalyst, she's our leader. Um, we, we feed off her energy. Uh, she usually gets us to a pretty good flow of the game. Uh, also uh, with that group is our point guard, Jada Russell, who's come up. She's been a you know, very vital instrument this year in, in orchestrating everything and uh, keeping us going. Uh, Nia Dove um, is a junior in that group as well. Um, provides a really good defense for us in shooting. Uh, rounding out that uh, starting group is Jamie Garcia, uh, sophomore, who's been a really surprise to us this year, uh, how quickly she's picked things up. Uh, floor leader, uh, defensive leader as well. And then Amaya Reed rounds that uh, starting group out. Uh, she's been very solid for us this year, scoring the ball more for us in the paint. Uh, enforcer in the paint, and you know, one of our uh, top rebounders. Uh, we're blessed and fortunate to be able to bring off the bench right now Layla Davis and Alyssa LaFontaine who uh, both of them have been really instrumental in, in scoring the ball and providing a, a boost off the bench. Uh, then we have uh, Morgan Ashmore who's uh, been, a, been a pretty good shooter for us this year as well. So uh, then Jada Black and Bethany Tucker round out our top ten with uh, some good minutes here and there. Since I started playing the big goal was to go D1 and having all the offers I did and having to go through the whole recruiting process was probably the most stressful but yet the most fun thing I've ever done and it was definitely worth it. Our goal is not only to go to the state championship but of course win it and that's our main focus and every day we practice that's what we're practicing for. Every day we play we're not playing just to play that game we're playing for beyond that and for that tournament and that game and for that championship. So. I think this team is really prepared to do that. We come out with a lot of momentum in the first quarter, um, and we have really good chemistry on and off the court, which really helps. So. Personally, like I've always been told not to really think about my height, just like play my game, and it's considered as one of advantage, like an advantage, because you're shorter, so you're quicker to the ground, you're lower, so it's um, the quickness, you like use it. Um, whenever you're playing and you can always learn different moves to like um, go around bigger people like height doesn't matter just like, embrace it. My biggest goal was last year I don't think I contributed as much as I should have. Um, this year my goal was to try to like make it easier for Audrey and not have to like rely on her all the time you know. I'm Amaya Reed and I'm a senior for um, after high school, I'm going to go to college. I want to be a physical therapist. So. The best advice I've been given is be your best at everything you do. Uh, the best advice I've been given is probably from my dad where saying you're good is not good enough. Just knowing that you can push yourself every chance you get. The best advice I've been given is from my dad. He's always telling me um, when it comes to academics or athletics to work hard and push myself to keep my options open for college. Like, open and have, um, It helps me have multiple doors open so I can have a better future for my family. Probably English. I don't know, English is like a basic subject and that's really easy, so yeah. Math. Nah. Uh, it's probably the easiest subject to come to me. I don't, I enjoy reading, but I don't like writing, so English is kind of out. Mm -hmm. But I like the numbers, so math is it. Definitely math. I do love math. I love numbers. The calculations, it's great. 